Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So last month when all that drama happened with P. Louise, if you guys did not know, the P. Louise base is the base that everyone has been using lately. Everyone says that it is a miracle worker, but when all that drama happened with them, everyone was just like, okay, well, now I gotta find a new eye base. And when I was reading through the comments and people were like, well, there's this new eye primer that everyone's been saying is better than P. Louise anyway, so everyone might as well check it out. So y'all know I did. There was something in my spirit that just wouldn't let me purchase the P. Louise base anyway. Like I was on the website several times ready to check out and I just never went through with it. Maybe it was the shipping. So I went on this company's website. They are called Helen E. Cosmetics. Apparently a whole bunch of New York City MUA use it and this is their stage eyeshadow primer yep stage eyeshadow primer I'm pretty sure there's only one color so I went ahead and I ordered it this is what I was using in the video where I did the it's my Ray Ray primer no eyeshadow palette video so I'm doing this video to let you guys know my thoughts on this one and see it in action so let's just get into it so I'm gonna take a little bit there because I'm pretty sure y'all can see just just how tiny this thing actually is this is ten dollars but I'm this is also overseas so there's you know the whole overseas shipping there so I think it comes around to 20 something dollars for this so we're gonna take a little bit there on our finger and just dot that on like that and I wasn't sure if I should blend it out with my finger or a brush so I kind of just did both so I started out blending it out with a brush and then my finger just to kind of warm it up there so that's what the primer looks like on my eyes it's supposed to really help with color like really just make color pigmented on your face so we're gonna do a colorful look today I'm gonna go in with this green and this blue can you see yeah okay sure you can see it. I was literally fine the entire morning I sit down to film and now my cramps want to kick in love that for me there I was gonna go ahead and blend that green out first and now blue and I'm gonna use the dark green from this new it's my Ray Ray palette and just a little below that first green start blending the darker green into my crease and then this darker blue from this BH Aquarius palette for the other eye and again just focus that right in my crease why is my hand so close to the brush now I'm gonna do a halo eye just to obviously you guys get it by now two different color halo eyes starting out with this green and this blue. You see how I've hit pan on that blue? Just disrespectful. But that's how you know this palette's good. So just start building that color up in the two corners. So inner corner, outer corner. And then connect the two. Same thing on the other side. So corners first and then connect the two. For my center color on the blue side, let's try this blue also from the BH Aquarius palette. And we're just going to go in with that. And then for the other eye, let's do this green from this BH Take Me Back to Brazil. Ooh, there was a reason why I wasn't holding it down because there's a shade that's broken in there but this is their take me back to brazil rio edition i knew i was forgetting something and just pat her in very random but this is the new oh sorry for buying you there this is the new jouet powder it smells like a new shoe box you know when you're in the store trying on shoes and they, especially sneakers and they bring you the box and you open it that's exactly what this powder smells like, which I'm not necessarily mad at. I'm just go ahead and do the rest of my face there. Don't like these lashes. They don't even look like they're the same pair of lash, but I don't feel like changing them. Um, it's been a minute since I brought Justine out, but she is back. But this is it for my face. This is what the eyeshadow is giving us. My thoughts on this Helen E primer. I like it. I really liked it after the 
it's my Ray Ray palette video. I'm liking it in this video. It was just easy to blend everything um, with each other. I feel like the colors are really pigmented. Like you can, I mean, granted the shadows themselves are pigmented, but still, even though on my skin tone, like I feel like the colors still pop without me having to use a white base, which everyone swears is what you have to, and I'm going off. Um, I feel like co the colors are really still pigmented on my eyelids there. It's ten dollars. It comes out to like t I think twenty one. Once if you're overseas, that that kind of stings a little bit, but a little goes a long way. Really, it was literally just dots that I did on my fingers, and it covered my whole eye. I am here for her. She is cute. Okay, I like how this blended out. I'm repeating myself now. I just like how my eyeshadow looks on top of this base. So if you were thinking of checking out this Helen E primer, I I would recommend that you do. I like it. I really like it. Okay. Mm. So that is it for this video. I really do not like these lashes. They're also sticking me in weird ways, but that is not the point of this video. I hope seeing this primer on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped if you're thinking of checking it out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.